In this video, we'll be looking at Teams in Verify. Teams are particularly useful for companies that have employees or contract workers that either make company expenses or need to track their time against projects. To manage a team, go to My Team in the left-hand menu. Here you can see a general overview of your team, including the number of documents and total spend and budget per team member. Note that these figures are only for the current calendar month. To invite a new team member to verify, start by clicking this Add Team Member button. The email address that you enter here is going to be the login email for this team member. It's also where they will receive their invitation email. And if you enter a phone number, they will also receive an invitation via SMS. This option lets you select whether the team member is an administrator. Admins have the ability to view and update the entire team's data. They can also approve expenses and timesheet entries and set certain company policies like monthly team budgets, what categories are available to each team member and whether non-admins can update their own categories and tags. This field here allows us to specify the team member's manager. Managers have the ability to view and update their own data as well as the documents and timesheets of the team members that report to them. All other team members can only see and manage their own data. At the bottom of this form is the product selection section. Here you can choose the products that are applicable to this team member. For example, if a team member only needs to record income and expenses, you would only keep the money product enabled. There are two things I'd like to mention about products here. The first is that when a product is enabled for a team member, all admins will automatically have the product enabled as well so that they can access the product's data for this team member. The second thing I wanted to mention is that team members can use their one account across all of Verify's products. So if we were to turn on the money and timesheets product for this team member, they would be able to use their account to sign into the online Verify hub uh, and also the iOS and Android versions of both the expenses and timesheets apps. Once we have our team set up, there's a few more things we can do on this page. Let's start by looking at the team budget calendar. Here we can assign a budget for each team member individually on a monthly basis. We saw a moment ago that we can set a general monthly budget on each team member when inviting them to verify. This can also be done at any time on the team member settings page. What this page allows you to do is to override team member budgets for specific months. Next, we have the team categories section. This allows us to limit the list of categories that are available to each team member. This is particularly useful if your team members only ever record activity against a subset of your company's categories. There are a few more things we can do with our team members here. We can update their settings, view their documents and timesheets, or message the team member via SMS or directly through the Verify apps. I'll cover these last two options in a little more detail because they affect your company's billing. When a product is turned off for a team member, they will lose the ability to collect or view their data related to that product or log into the relevant iOS or Android app. From that point, admins will only be able to access the team member's historical data related to that product. Verify subscriptions are based on a per product, per team basis. When a product is enabled for a team member for any portion of a month, that team member's subscription will be billed for that product for the entire month. So for example, if I enable the money product for this team member today and disable it again tomorrow, this team member will be billed for the money product for this entire calendar month. The next option here allows us to deactivate a team member. When a team member is deactivated, they can no longer access their Verify account at all, although the company admins will still be able to view and edit the team member's historical data. If that team member requires access to Verify again later on, uh, their account can be reactivated and they'll be able to resume using Verify in the same way as they could before their account was deactivated. All their existing data will still remain in Verify. Billing for deactivated users works much like the product-specific billing I mentioned a moment ago. So if a team member is deactivated on May 10 and then activated again on August 10, the subscription will be billed for the team member for all of May and all of August, but not for June and July since they were deactivated for those two months. If you'd like to permanently remove a team member, this delete option will be available once a team member has been deactivated. 
When a team member is deleted, their account is completely wiped and their data can never be restored. So please be 100% sure before using this option as there's no turning back. And that just about covers Teams in Verify. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please reach out to us at support at verify.com.